Here you go. I got a question for you, and it's not. Not in the sexual context. Do you ever fantasize? Fantasize about living remote or off grid. No people, no traffic, no nothing. Woo! We gonna dive into a topic that's gonna blow your mind. I'm talking about fantasizing about cutting ties with the modern world and living completely off grid, remote. Hold on, because I'm about to reveal the 12. I'm not doing 12. No, hell no. The nine best states to live remote from the wild, untamed landscapes of Alaska to God's country, West Virginia. These states offer the ultimate escape from the chaos, chaos of modern life. But first, come on now, we gotta talk about Maryland. Prime time Maryland. It's a jack of all trades when it comes to living options. You got country, you got suburban, you got urban, you got the beach. Ooh, I love the beach. You even have mountain living here in Maryland. Yet, when it comes to truly remote, off-grid living, Maryland probably is not going to be your top pick. It's cr I'm telling you, it's crossed our minds at one time or another. But let's face it. When I say crossed our minds, I'm talking about living remote. But let's face it. Finding a truly remote spot here in Maryland, it's like finding a needle in a haystack. It's, it's tough. Let's be clear. Look, I'm not talking about doomsday approach to life where you're stacking water and eating nuts. I'm I, not at all. This is about embracing a lifestyle of self-sufficiency and sustainability. So, if you're serious about going off-grid, remote, you might want to look beyond the borders here in the old line state of Maryland, and only in America can you have options. Let's go. If we have not met, my name is Mark Avery with Maryland Housing Market, and today, it's America's housing market. Ooh, I like that. I might have to hold on to that. Before I get into the top nine states to live remote, off-grid in America, credit goes out to Teresa Fikes for helping us with this info. She's dynamite. Love that. Uh, I got to set the foundation for you about the things you need to consider before cutting that cord and going down yonder. Look, dreaming here in America, it's free. But where's Chris going? I have no idea. He's completely off the grid. The first thing you got to consider is water. You got to have access to water. Are, are water resources limited? That's a question. Will you need to drill a well? How about build a pond? Is this legal or feasible? Look, come on now. You, you can't live without water. How about this one, number two? Cost. Consider the cost of land where you plan to move. You can't be a tinker and just wander on other people's property. You gotta put down roots. Land has a price. Off-grid community. Look, I know y'all trying to go remote. And this is a little bit controversial since a lot of people are just looking to drop off the grid but and looking for that solitude. But it's always useful to have like-minded people around you as a support system. And just in case that, that you know what hits the fan, you know, it's always good to have a friend on a dime. Still work? Yeah, yeah, just need a charge. How about this one? A lot of us don't even think about this because we live here in the cities. Uh, suburban, urban, what have you. Long growing season. Look, if you're planning on growing your own food, then you got to make sure, certain that you choose a state with a long growing season. How about this one? Available renewable energy. Some states may not offer easy access to these types of energy sources. Others may provide incentives or programs that makes it a lot easier for residents to install renewable energy systems in their homes or their businesses. That renewable uh, energy factor, that is really key if you're going off-grid or living remote, no doubt. How about this one? Capabilities for raising livestock. Some states, they got strict regulations when it comes to raising animals such as chickens or goats in residential areas. I don't know what the people do with the goats. I guess you milk them. I don't know if they eat them. They make cheese. I don't know. That's not me. How about this? Legality. When you're researching these states to move, when living off-grid or remote, it's important to take into consideration a variety of aspects, such as you know, legality. You got to look it up. You got to look at all the laws related to homesteading, as they call it, in your state before you do anything. Look, here are the best states in America, red, white, and blue, baby, to live remote off-grid. No particular order with this list. Number one is Rocky Mountain High, Colorado. Woo! Southwest, absolutely gorgeous out there in Colorado if you ever haven't been. Uh, climate, 300 days a year of sunshine. Mm. Land affordability, the median home price is approximately $529,000. That's a little high. When you see these other states, you'll notate that. Uh, cost of living, average cost of living 
Colorado is $53,000 per year, about 7% higher than the national average. That's real. Remote living fact. Colorado has got a vast wilderness areas and national forests make it ideal for living off-grid, living homesteading uh, or remote. Uh, St. Louis Valley, I know I probably didn't pronounce that right. You can beat me up on that. Is an option for off-grid living in Colorado. The area of Colorado, I mean, Colorado itself, it's a sparsely populated. The mountainous terrain is advantageous for water and, of course, wood. But the winter, the winter out there in the mountains make it a challenge. You better love snow. It ain't for me. I like visiting, but I ain't staying there. Dose, number two, on our states for living remote. Nah, but this one, Montana, Northwest, home to Glacier National Park, Yellowstone National Park, beautiful. If you've never been out west, you've got to experience that. The climate out in Montana, varied, uh, plenty of sunshine, but cold, cold winters. Land affordability, uh, the median home price in Montana is approximately $450,000. Cost of living is about 6% higher than the national average out there in Montana. Listen to me. One thing about Montana, it's got wide open spaces. It's got huge, huge, big skies. I'm looking up because I can remember. Look, I just got, but the winters are harsh. I was out there a couple years ago in big sky skiing. It was cold. But check this out about Montana. Homeschooling laws are exceedingly lax out there. If you want to homeschool your kids, it's top of the list for a lot of people going remote. Montana. Ain't never would have thought this state would register on this list for living off-grid remote. Number three, Michigan, Midwest, climate. Michigan out there has got four distinct seasons uh, with uh, cold winters and warm summers. Every time I've been out there, it's been rainy. Land affordability in Michigan, uh, the median home price. Check this out. This is key. $223,000 in Michigan, average home price. Cost of living, you'll love this, about 10% lower than the national average. Remote living fat. Plentiful, plentiful freshwater resources out there. Michigan has 26,000 inland lakes. Never knew that. Michigan requires a greater reliance on renewable energy out there. Uh, some good areas for living off-grid in Michigan include the tip of the thumb. You'll see that on the map. Also the northern tip or the upper peninsula, as they call that southwest side of the state. Check out Michigan. Affordability all day long. Go remote. If off the grid is not for you, one thing for certain, we get calls and emails every single day from people just like you that are moving about or relocating to Maryland. We love it. So whether you're moving in nine days, 90 days, or nine months, give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. We love to hear from you. I do. I love to hear from you. We got you covered. Number four is a great state of Alaska. Oh, hell no. It's north, 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 west. How about Russia? That's where it's located. Anyway, climate, old. It's cold. It's just cold with long winters, short summers, land affordability. You ready for this? Median home price in Alaska, $345,000. Cost of living, 28% higher than the national average. They got to take everything up there. Remote living fact, abundant natural resources, including 12% of the world's coal and 3.5% of the world's gold. Go get yourself some. Make that money. There are no prohibitions against gardening in Alaska, and you can raise farm animals as long as you can provide warm housing and fenced pastures. There are no prohibitions against gardening, and there are no restrictions on gun ownership. Taxation, you'll love this. Y'all are going to love this about Alaska, uh, which factors into our cost consideration. It's not a problem in Alaska as it has lower tax burden, the lowest tax burden, rather, in the U.S. That means it doesn't have, doesn't have sales tax, income tax, no inheritance tax, uh, estate tax, no. Only 25 municipalities in Alaska impose a property tax. That's for real out there in Alaska. It ain't for me though. Number five for living remote or off-grid as they call it, homesteading. May not be for me. I'm t it ain't for me. Number five on our list is Idaho. This, this is definitely a state I want to visit though. Idaho in the Northwest. Check this out. They feature an area. Well, here, Idaho has desert. It's got mountains. It's got this plain in the Northwest corner called the Palouse. And if I'm not pronouncing that, beat me up. Look, I got to see that. It's got rolling hills and purple majesty. Anyway, out in Idaho, land is affordable and abundant community. It's got a strong homestead network out there in Idaho. Agriculture ideal for growing a variety of crops. Average home price in Idaho is $452,000. Cost of living, this is key. Cost of living in Idaho, $762 to $1,700 
per month, slightly higher than that national average. One thing about Idaho, it offers a significant portion of land as public domain. Go get it. Uh, low population and lax, lax laws for remote living. And have y'all been to the Palace? I want to see that place. Oh, I just want to go to a, Idaho. It looks so, so pretty. Mountains, desert, it's got it all. For number six, we're heading smack dab in the middle of America, Missouri, 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 Midwest. Climate mild uh, with long growing season in four distinct seasons. Uh, land affordability. You're going to love this about Missouri. That's how I say it. Uh, the median home price out there in Missouri is $250,000. Cost of living about 10% lower than the national average. That's key. Remote living fact out there in Missouri. Supportive homesteading network and fertile, fertile land. I don't know why I like that word. Fertile. That's a lot of words I like. I like that one too. Anyway, low cost of living out there and ample space out there in Missouri. The Ozarks is a top destination for homesteaders living remote or off grid. The lack of zoning regulations in certain counties allows homesteaders to build alternative homes like those little dinky houses, tiny houses, or farmhouses, or even off grid cabins. Check out Missouri. That place is affordable. Come on now, I spy with my little eyes. Agents, you gotta listen to me. If you're not getting any help or your brokerages are lacking leadership, huh, like we never heard that before, you will not just be a number with Mark A. Ritter and Associates of Sax Realty. Look, we lead from the front. We, if you need guidance, we got you covered. Sax Realty is dominating social media and we can help you take your career to the next level. Let's go. Back at living off the grid. At it, boom, let's go. For number seven, we're heading back out west to Wyoming. Breathtaking views out there in Wyoming. Man, here's a story for you. Do you know when I was young, we, my family and all, we were wild campers. We crisscrossed the whole country and we went on a camping trip. We ended up in Cheyenne, uh, Wyoming. And I'll never forget it. This dude was in the back of a pickup truck and Moon, me, my mom, and my brother, and my dad. It was a funny as hell. My mother, she looked up, she's like, oh my Lord, got Moon. I don't know if y'all even know what that is. Anyway, Wyoming's climbing out there. It's semi-arid. It's got cold winters and summers. Land affordability is the median home price out there in Wyoming. is $353,000. Cost of living. Average cost of living is $47,000 per year. About 7.3% lower than the national average in Wyoming. Remote living fact about Wyoming's vast open spaces. It has vast open spaces. It's got low population density. Uh, makes it perfect for those seeking solitude and self-sufficiency. Wyoming, I'm tell you, it's got a large amount of wind energy. It ranks almost, it ranks eighth in the country for wind energy potential. Wow, 2023 wind uh, power accounted for 90% of the state's renewable electricity generation. Wow, I'm telling you, that is an absolute beautiful part of our country, Wyoming. You guys got to get out there. Whew, it is gorgeous. For number eight, we got God's country, Mountain Mama. Take me home. West Virginia, East Coast, baby, come on out. Climate, it's mild with plenty of rainfall in West Virginia. Land affordability, the median home price in West Virginia, in West Virginia is approximately $150,000. What? $150,000 of living in West Virginia. Cost of living, West Virginia's cost of living is about 10% lower than the national average. West Virginia. West Virginia scores highest in affordability category. Category, no doubt, it includes measures like the average um, the average per acre value of cropland and the property tax rate and the overall cost of living. It's a home run uh, location because, you know, you're close to the rest of the world. It's easy accessible to the East Coast, but you're still, you got solitude. You got it all in West Virginia and it is cheap. We got Crooked Nine, Sun Drenched, Sunshine, Arizona, Southwest. Climate, the average annual temperature in Arizona is 59.7. That seems low to me. See, they got tons of energy. Excellent for solar energy production, agricultural, year-round growing season. Arizona is hot as hell. It is. It's hot. No thanks. Ready for this? 113 days this year alone for 100 degrees plus. 113 days in a row. Hell no. A key feature about Arizona regarding off-grid living, of course, is its abundant sunshine making it ideal for solar power generation, which is a crucial, crucial component for most off-grid lifestyle. However, the major challenges in Arizona for off-grid living, remote living, is the scarcity of readily accessible water. You can't live without water, requiring, you gotta have careful planning if you're considering Arizona as far as water collection and storage. 
It's too hot for me today. I love sunshine. I love the beach. There ain't no beach in Arizona. Happiness, more or less. I'll say this. Whether you're dreaming of a self-sufficient lifestyle in the sunny deserts of Arizona or the vast wilderness of Alaska, there's a perfect spot out there for you. And it's only in America you can live the way you want. You just got to make certain the spot you pick checks all those boxes. Before we wrap it up though, I just want let me share this personal note. While the idea of off-grid or remote living, homesteading is fascinating and offers a unique sense of freedom and self-sufficiency, it ain't for everyone, including me. Oh, hell no. I need people. I need people. Or otherwise, I'm like Dr. Doolittle out there talking to all the animals or talking to the walls. I don't know. You know, tell a friend. <laughs> I love the conveniences of the community that come with living in more connected areas. I'm telling you, this is me. However, I got immense respect for those who choose that path as far as homesteading, remote, off-grid living, and they make it work. God bless you. Look, if you're like me and you need people, you got to check out my next video, Living in Carroll County. You got the best of both worlds out in Carroll County. You got people and you got animals. I love you, Baltimore. Come on now. I love you.